Hey everybody, Silver here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 9. Uh, last time we got to the halfway point, and we found out that the robots were going crazy because they were scheduled to be scrapped. So, um, there were a couple of other details, but right now we just gotta focus on the rest of the roster. Uh, next one up is Magma Man. Who seems to be quite a hot head. Alright, let's see. Do do do. As you would expect of somebody named Magnet Ma Magma Man. Uh his base is in a volcano. Great start, great start. Anyway. There we go. There. Uh. Ow. Alright, gotta be careful of those little things. And I think I'm just gonna play it safe and take the hit there on purpose, just so I can more easily grab the ladder. Alright. Okay. Now, if you've ever been through Quick Man stage in Make Man 2, yeah, these things are instant death. A neat little visual effect, though, if you stand close enough to them, you see sparks coming off from where um, Mega Man's foot is. Whoop! You know they're about to fire when uh, the arrow uh, starts to flash. There. Alright, dropping down. And let's see... Uh, if I remember right, I'm going to want to switch to the Black Hole Bomb, because... We have a dragon! Now... He is completely gimped. If you do this. And there we go, he's dead. Alright, uh, let's switch to Jewel Satellite for this bit. Because... Ooh, there we go, that's nice. Alright, uh... There we go. Alright, I'll take that hit on purpose, just so I can make the gap. That one moment of hesitation. Alright, and up we go. Gotta be patient. No need to rush. And there we go. Alright, taking the hit on purpose there. Just because I don't want a chance running into the pit of lava. Or sorry, magma. Uh, right. We are going to want to switch to Tornado Blow. 
And if I remember right, there is a bit of a trick with it. So all in all, pretty short stage. Ah, dang it. I thought I'd be able to save it. Let's see how Black Hole Bomb does. There we go! a relatively short level, but uh, to be fair, we did have a bunch of uh, Robot Master weapons to work with. And we've got another! The Magma Bazooka. Imagine the uh, atomic fire from Mega Man 2, but it goes in three directions. Alright. I've upgraded Rush to help you out! Yeah! Stop! Yeah! You're going too fast! Oh! Poor roll. I'll uh, try to slow him down a bit. So now we have access to Rush Jet. What better way to take out a bee infestation than with fire? Ah, oh, nice little garden. Alright, uh... I'm just gonna be taking this up. Ow. Okay. Egg! Come on. There we go. Get up there. Doo -doo. Let's see. Does the plug ball work on this platform? Yes, it does. So you gotta be careful not to stay on those platforms too long. Uh, let's see. Rush coil. You gotta be careful with these spikes. And there we go. Alright, and now let's see. Uh, I have a feeling Jewel Satellite will help. I, I hit the jump button, come on! Uh, be right back. Alright, 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 alright. Let's, uh... Let's not take any chances this time, because apparently there's some lag. Alright, now this thing! It's pretty much invincible. The only thing you can do is shoot it in the belly, and have it shoot away some of these platforms. Ow! Uh, let's see. Do do. Uh, let's see. I keep hitting the wrong button for that. Uh. There we go. Grab that for a mulligan. And here we go. This thing. Dang it. Uh, how far do I act does that set me all the way back? Be right back. Okay, here we go. 
All right. Uh, do do do. So basically, you're going around this kind of clock. And what you gotta do is hit the flower as soon as he pops up. Try to hit him as many times as you can before you fall through. He shows up randomly on these eight platforms. Cool. And yes, the hand in the middle does damage. Okay. So down we drop. Whoop. Too much left of the stage. All right. Uh. Do -do -do. Grab some of this. Shouldn't be too much further. There we go. There we go. All right. So now we take on, uh, Hornet Man. I'm gonna switch to the Magma Bazooka. Trust me, you're gonna need it. So Hornet Man is pretty strictly pattern-based. He just deploys some bees, moves back and forth, so if you have the Magma Bazooka, he's really easy to take out. Boom! Like that! And yeah, that was the fight. And with that, we have probably the best utility item in the series. The Hornet Chaser. It can target enemies, or it can target items and bring them back to you. Alright, uh, next up. Uh, here's the thing. If you're running away from a horde of killer bees, whatever you do, do not jump in the water. The bees will be waiting for you when you get up top. Although, if you stay underwater, there's a nice little mermaid there. Alright, here we go. Love the water effect. Okay, these things! They chase after you if you get too close, or if you hit them with your buster. Drop down here. Uh, let's see. These octopi things, uh, they'll pop out of their pots, uh, when you hit them. 
You can also destroy the little ink blobs. Although if you get hit with them, it turns Mega Man completely black. It's actually kind of a funny effect. Ta-da! See what I mean? And it even affects the pickups that you get. Whee! Ow. Hold on, let me see if I can time this. Haha! -ha! Got it! Precision! Alright. Ow. So you might be wondering, how do we get this ink off? All I gotta do is switch to the weapons menu. Alright. Dropping down here. Actually, yo, gotcha. Now, anybody who's played Mega Man Five might see a little bit of deja vu. Uh. Before we go any higher up, let's switch to Jewel Satellite. Because... As we go through here, there are some spikes. And let's see. One more. Actually, wait, if I go back up here, I believe... I made sort of a good call. Nope. Notice I said sort of. Ah, now I gotta wait. The good thing is that the bubbles come up in the same pattern every time you make a screen transition, so... You're not really missing much. Whoop. And up we go! Alright, uh... Demonstration for Hornet Chaser? See that bolt? Could be! I'll get you some honey later. Alright, uh, now let's see. Do -do -do. Tornado blow! Whee! Uh, let's get some black hole bomb, and up we go! Okay, so these platforms pay very close attention to the water inside them. When the water runs out, the platform disappears. Like that. Do. Think of the water inside those capsules as fuel. There we go! And I believe we are in the home stretch. Ha! Ah. Serves you right. And there we are! We are now about to face Flash Woman. And with Hornet Chaser, she's a complete non-issue. She looks pretty, though. And she has a lovely voice. And that's 
pretty much it. That's her entire arsenal. She summons fishies with her singing voice, and she attacks you with her splash trident. That's pretty much it, as far as I know. So, yeah. You got a new weapon! The Splash Trident! Or the Laser Trident, sorry. But it's a really good weapon, does a lot of damage, and there are some blocks that it completely destroys and penetrates so that you can access because there are some blocks that other um, weapons can't penetrate. That, that was a bit roundabout way of saying. Anyway. Ah, and then there was one. I think that'll be where we call it today. Join me next time for when we take down the last of these Robot Masters, Concrete Man. See you all later. Until then, this is Silver, telling you to stay silver.